In this problem, a laboratory at a water pollution control plant receives a sludge feed sample. The sample is placed into a 10 gram sampling dish and weighed. The scale reads 142.6 grams. After drying in an oven, the dish and dried sample weigh 32.5 grams. The dried sample is then ignited in a furnace and the final weight of the dish and remaining ash is 16.48 grams. What percent of the sample is comprised of solids, and of those solids, what percent are volatile? So this is one of those problems that asks us to find two different answers before picking one of the choices below. Let's solve them one at a time. I couldn't find keywords in the environmental reference manual that would help with this problem. Please let me know in the comments if you find any useful pages to reference. So what we will do first is simplify the problem statement down to the most important cases of the sludge sample. So first, the wet weight of the sample is as follows. We're going to take the 142.6 grams and subtract out the weight of the dish, leaving us with 132.6 grams. Next, the sentence about the oven indicates that this is the information for the dry sample. So the dry sample is 32.5 grams minus the weight of the dish to get 22.5 grams. Finally, the sentence about the furnace provides our information about the ash and the volatiles. So the sentence gives us the dish and ash being 16.48 grams meaning that the ash alone is 6.48 grams. Now that we have solved for these values, solving our problem is very easy. Let's start by finding the percent solids. The percent of the solids is simply found by finding the ratio of dry to wet sample. So since we've already calculated these, we can just plug them right in. 22.5 over 132.6. And our result is going to be 0.17 or 17%. So already we can throw away the first answer and the fourth answer from our list. Now, if we were looking for the percent of volatile, we can calculate this as follows. The volatile sample is going to be the percent that was burned off in the furnace. The non-volatile portion is going to be the part that remained, aka the ash. So the way that we can write this up here is going to be the percent dry that went into the furnace minus the ash remaining in the furnace over the total weight of the dry going into the furnace. So this is going to be 22.5 minus 6.48 over 22.5. And this is going to give us about 0.71 or 71%, which we can see over here is our second answer. So this problem is very simple. If you can pull out the relevant information you need for this problem and not get tripped up and accidentally calculate the wrong thing. For example, if you calculated 
A correctly, but then calculated for the non-volatile in B, you could end up with the third answer here. Similarly, if you calculated A incorrectly by dividing the weight of the dry dish by the weight of the wet dish, you would have found an answer closer to 23% and selected either the first or the fourth answer. So just getting familiar with exactly what it is you're supposed to solve for and doing this repetitively should help you to gain more familiarity with how to approach these questions if you can't find any help in the reference manual. And that's it.